So, okay, okay. I would have, of course, I would have liked to, oh, look, she, I think she's getting so emotional right there, you can see, or maybe she's just bowing to Andrew Lloyd Webber, um, as you should. Hello everyone, I'm Mark Daniel Patrick, musical theater coach. Thank you so much for taking the time to check out the channel. And if it's your first time here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to leave me a comment before you leave of any suggestions of future videos you'd like to see or any comments you have on this one. Today is stop number three as we continue to look at strong female performances in musical theater. We started with Philippa Sue and Burn. If you haven't seen that video, go check out that video as well. From there, we went to Shoshana Bean performing She Used to Be Mine from the musical Waitress. And today, another subscriber recommended video. I thought I'd go and check it out as Nicole Scherzinger steps up to sing Don't Cry For Me Argentina from the hit musical Evita. I'll be perfectly honest, it's, it wouldn't be my first choice of singer to, to review performing this song, but one of my dedicated subscribers suggested it, so I thought, what the hell, let's check it out. So, here we go. I've been looking forward to this Oh, he's actually evening. there. Please welcome to sing Don't Cry For Me Argentina, Nicole oh, Scherzinger. Michael, wow. So I have to say right away, this has all the ingredients of an absolute train wreck for me. Uh, a traditional pop singer singing a huge musical theater song. Uh, the fact that it's not a performed, it's, it's not on stage that, you know, in the musical that she's performing it. She's just performing it live in, in a concert setting. Um, but the fact that Andrew Lloyd Webber is there, so she, she can't be all that bad if he's going to sit there and watch it. It won't be easy You think it's strange When I try to explain How I feel oh, She looks and beautiful though I still though. need your love After all that I've done You won't be so already a little bit, it's, it's actually not, she has a great voice. I didn't realize she could sing that well. Um, so already it's it's a mix. I'll, I'll give her that. It's a mix. So she's she's in it. She's performing it uh, somewhat. She's emotionally connected. Um, but it is a little bit poppy for me, right? It's a bit, um, those drawn out, held on vocals. She's not throwing anything away. She's very focused on, on beautifully hitting every single note. She's a pop singer again. She's going to do that. And she sounds amazing, uh, but surpri and surprisingly, she's actually like holding some sort of character so far. All you will see is a girl you once knew, although she's dressed up to the nines at sixes and sevens with you. Yeah, having to look at the camera. I had to let it happen. It's a problem again with these live concert performances. Okay, so it's, you see right away she had it. I mean, everyone can see it, right? She's got her eyes fixated on one point and she's starting, you can feel it. You can see her eyes are really starting to engage and she's starting to feel something. I think it's because she mentions the word sun that she dis decides to, to close her eyes and, and, and sort of shy away. Okay, uh, but I think, it, you know, but she's right there. She was, she was engaged, she had it. So it's... Um, not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Running around, trying everything new, but nothing impressed me at all. I never expected it to. Don't cry for me. I mean, she sounds gorgeous. She's really throwing on that accent, eh? But um, she sounds gorgeous so far. I mean, she's really, um, she can absolutely belt her way through this song for sure. All through my wild days, my mad existence, I kept my promise. Don't keep your distance. 
See, it's the hand movements, right? The hand movements like this. Like what, what, what is, what is that? That's so poppy. Um, again, it's just a pop singer. What are you going to do? That's, it's, it's fine. Um, and at least she's doing something than just standing and, and singing. But the, every motion to me, like on stage has to mean something. And that one right there, not sure what that's supposed to mean. And as for fortune, and I It seemed to the world they were all I desired. They are illusions. They are not the solutions they promised to be. The answer was here all the time. Keep going. So, so it's not it's not a traditional interpretation of the song. Um, and I know there are a number of, of huge Broadway stars that, that we could be reviewing right now that sing this song. Um, but I wanted to give this a chance. And so far, she's now starting to get into it. You can see she's starting to emotionally, uh, really emotionally connect. Um, so it's, it's, it's getting there. I love you and hope you love me. Don't cry for me, Ajati. The closed, oh, let this go. The closed eyes for no reason. Such a pop thing. Right? Oh, done. A little smirk all of a sudden. Don't cry for me, Argentina. The truth is I never left you. All through my wild days, my mad existence. That was beautiful. That really, I mean, that goosebumps right there. That really brings you up. Um, she can sing the song. She really can. That's so far. That's that's not that's not an issue. Um, the pop the pop aspects of it, the hand motions and stuff, are a little bit eh, take you out of it a little bit. But she she can act, she can really sing this. Have I said too much? There is nothing more I can think of to say to you. It plays up that accent every once in a while. But all you have to do is look at me to know that every word is true. So, okay, okay. I would have, of course, I would have liked to, oh, look, she, I think she's getting so emotional right there, you can see, or maybe she's just bowing to Andrew Lloyd Webber, um, as you should. I, I would have liked her again to stay, it's such a pop thing to let it go right away, I would have liked her to hold that moment uh, as the applause comes up a little bit. Um, a lot of times you'd be surprised if you hold that moment, that's actually going to get more applause out of the audience because they can see you still in it, still acting. Overall, it's, it, it's a member of the Pussycat Dolls is coming out and singing one of the, the biggest, you know, one of the biggest Broadway songs of all time. Um, and, and she handles it. She does it really well. She's, she sounds and looks incredible. Again, just some emotional things, but it's hard to do in a televised concert setting. Um, but, you know, obviously, hey, if it's good enough for, for Andrew, it's, it's, uh, I think it's got to be good enough for, for a lot of us. So who knows what he's actually thinking. We'd like to, to get inside his head right now, but I'm sure he can't have a problem with that. That's a, that's a really solid performance. Okay, that's all the time we have for this video. Thank you so much for taking the time to check it out. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and leave me a comment if you have any suggestions of videos you'd like to see me check out in the future or if you have any comments on this one. Until next time, I'm Mark Daniel Patrick and God bless the orchestra pit.